Welcome back to our exploration of the Great Mother, maternal genesis in African mythology and consciousness. In the first chapter, the Great Mother, Ouroboros, Africa's eternal cycle, we journeyed through the looping symbol of the Ouroboros, symbolizing the African understanding of life as a perpetual circle of creation, destruction and rebirth. We witnessed how maternal goddesses such as Nunet, Mamiwata and Yemoja serve as pivotal figures emerging from chaotic waters to bestow order. And how the interplay between nurturing and destruction is embodied by Isis and Ajay. These deities dynamically navigate us through life's manifold tapestry fostering growth from darkness into enlightenment. Now, as we delve further into this chronicle of deep-rooted wisdom, we stand poised to unravel the jewel threads that weave the very fabric of African spiritual consciousness. But before we do, let us ponder a question that branches from the roots we've laid. How do the resilient tendrils of constancy intertwine with the transformative winds of change to shape the leaves and branches of human experience within the cradle of African spirituality? In chapter 2, The Dual Matrices of Life, we will explore this tapestry where the grounding of elemental femininity and the fluid motion of transformative femininity dance in a harmonious symphony. This chapter presents us with a paradox that is not so much a conflict but a conversation, a beautiful discourse between the assurances of the earth beneath our feet and the rhythmic transformations that propel us forward on life's journey. Stay with me as we decipher how these complementary forces nurtured by the great mother archetype imbue every aspect of existence. As we do, we will uncover how the great African traditions encapsulate these universal dualities in stories, rituals and deities guiding us to a deeper appreciation of life's intricate balance. Within this understanding, we lay our hands on the ancestral threads, connecting a timeless past with the pulse of our contemporary world, one that continues to be nurtured by the elemental while being faithfully led on the wings of transformation. unveiling the elemental and transformative characters. The Great Mother archetype in African spirituality is a complex tapestry interwoven with elemental and transformative characteristics. Elemental femininity is the epitome of the unchanging and enduring. They are forces of preservation, constant as the earth beneath our feet. The transformative character is the dynamic principle of change, the necessary force driving evolution and creative expression. Together, they represent the dual nature of existence, reflecting the intricate balance between constancy and change within the African spiritual tradition. Elemental Femininity in the African Pantheon In the African spiritual landscape, elemental femininity represents the cornerstone of primordial stability and protection. 
This concept is keenly personified by revered deities who embody the cosmic essence of nurturing care. Tapping into this source, one discovers revered figures like Mamiwata, whose representation as a mermaid captures her role as an abundant provider and guardian of the profound mysteries of life. She commands a timeless authority over the waters she inhabits, presenting an allure that is both enchanting and cautionary a reminder of the endless cycles of sustenance and the irresistible pull to return to nature's origins. Simultaneously, the maternal archetype leads us to Isis, an emblem of persistence and healing love. With outstretched wings, Isis encapsulates the immortal spirit of motherhood. Her myths paint a portrait of a goddess whose resolve transcends obstacles and whose embrace binds families and communities, fostering societies characterized by indomitable strength and cohesion. With feet planted firmly in the soil, Asaseya, the earth mother of Ghana's belief systems, underpins this trio with her unwavering solidarity as both nurturer and final resting place for all life. She embodies the dependable rhythms of nature. Asaseya conveys her love and commitment to the world through the steadfastness of the very ground we stand upon exemplifying the enduring maternal spirit in its grounded form. Interwoven within these descriptions is a narrative that speaks to universal aspects of the human condition, protection, resilience, and a deep-seated need for connecting to something that persists unaltered through time. Each deity offers a unique lens through which to view the elemental femininity that is firmly rooted in African consciousness, a force as solid as the earth and as encompassing as the oceans. Through their mythical journeys, they serve to facilitate a deeper understanding of our place in the world anchored in a tradition that places reverent value on endurance and the sustenance of life's intricate tapestry. transformative femininity and the cycle of change. Equally significant in the pantheon of African spirituality is the transformative aspect of femininity, a dynamic essence that catalyzes motion and propels the cycle of life forward. This aspect is embodied by deities whose personas are steeped in the process of creation, adaptation and evolution. Yemoja emerges as a vibrant symbol within this transformative domain. As the Yoruba Orisha of rivers and the ocean, her maternal presence is synonymous with the generative powers of water with currents that nurture and paths that meander. She encapsulates life's perpetual motion and the ability of love to adapt and evolve. Yamoja is the archetype of motherhood in its most transformative expression, where still waters run deep and life's potentials find their form in her nurturing embrace. Turning to Ajay, one meets an oracle of economic and natural vitality. Encompassing the complexities of fortune and change, she embodies the mercurial nature of progress and the shifting tides of prosperity. Ajay's domain is one where resources are sacred and their flow dictates the well-being of individuals and entire communities. 
her presence underscores the importance of adaptability and strategic navigation through the vicissitudes of existence. A testament to the transformative power of femininity that can either open the floodgates of abundance or withhold blessing as part of life's ongoing metamorphosis. In the uncharted waters of primeval darkness, the essence of Nunet dwells, cradling the potential of all creation. A personification of the chaotic pre-universe, she holds within her the promise of being, where sparks of existence birth from the void. Nunet's enigmatic nature represents a profundity that is both unsettling and awe-inspiring, a maternal energy that underpins the very act of creation itself. Together, these deities present a vivid illustration of the transformative facets of maternal energy. They navigate the unknown, steering life through each twist and turn in its journey. Their stories bring to light a truth that resonates at the core of African mythology. The feminine divine is not only a symbol of constancy, but also an agent of change. Forever orchestrating the complex dance between what is and what can be. This transformative femininity calls us to embrace growth, to honor our own capacity to evolve and see in every end the whisper of a new beginning. The deeply intertwined qualities of nurturance and evolution in these deities reveal how life's continuum is sustained by an eternal cycle that reveals both the reliable and the unpredictable. A cycle that breathes vitality into the very fabric of our existence. Four, the primal balance, elemental and transformative as one. In delving deep into the rich soil of African mythology, we can unearth an understanding of the great mother archetype that is both primal and essential. The seamless intermingling of the elemental and transformative facets of femininity. These two forces, often perceived as opposite, are intricately connected in a harmonious balance that is fundamental to life's unfolding narrative. The divine feminine within African traditions does not shun the unity of contrasts but holds them in a delicate equilibrium. This primordial unity of opposites is a testament to the belief that stability and change are not mutually exclusive but are rather the beating heart of existence. The constancy of the earth and the ceaseless flow of the river share an intricate link. They are the yin and the yang of the natural world that together nourish and shape the progression of life. Embracing this twin essence is akin to answering an ancestral call. A call towards wholeness and understanding that underscores the importance of acknowledging the entirety of maternal force. It is a beckoning to see beyond singular characteristics and to appreciate the multifaceted nature of the great mother who in her vastness encapsulates an all-encompassing wisdom vital to our collective consciousness. In contemporary times, this call resonates just as powerfully persisting through our day-to-day -day tribulations and achievements. The grounding presence of elemental forces anchor us, providing a sense of security amid the complexities of the modern world. While the transformative power propels us forward, inspiring adaptation and resilience, this dual nature is reflected in a variety of cultural expressions from art and literature to community practices, embodying a universal human experience that transcends time. 
it serves as both reminder that our own journeys too are woven from threads of consistency and novelty, safety and risk. The African Great Mother archetype offers a framework of a holistic life, an existence where steadiness and variation coexist peacefully and productively. By reconciling these archetypal energies, we forge a path towards balance, integrating deep-rooted sensibilities with ones that allow us to rise to the challenges of an ever-changing landscape. As we walk this path reflecting on the perennial wisdom of ancient traditions, we are guided towards a fuller realization of our potential as individuals and communities. The maternal archetype becomes a symbol not just embedded in past narratives but an active force shaping our daily lives, encouraging each of us to find harmony in diversity and unity in duality. This wisdom drawn from the nurturing earth and the transformative waters remains an indispensable guide as we navigate our way through the unfolding complexity of modern existence. Five, conclusion, a journey through duality towards unity. Our exploration of the African Great Mother archetype brings us to the confluence of elemental constancy and transformative dynamism, the nurturing soil from which grows a profound recognition of the intricate expedition that encompasses all aspects of human experience, culture and spiritual practice. In reflecting upon this archetype, we gain a richer understanding of the dual nature of existence, offering insights into the resolute embrace of endurance paired with the courageous acceptance of change. These dual aspects are not merely abstract components to be intellectually dissected, but are intrinsic to the fabric of daily life providing a compass for both individual development and communal cohesion. As we strive for wholeness, the union of elemental and transformative femininity presents itself as an ancient paradigm for contemporary living. It epitomizes the balance needed to navigate an increasingly complex world, an equilibrium that encompasses nurturing care and the ability to embrace transformation fearlessly. In the face of challenges that accompany modernity, from technological upheavals to social reconfigurations, the wisdom embedded in these archetypal energies remains a lighthouse guiding us towards sustainable growth. Their lessons encourage us to weave stability with flexibility, helping us stand steadfast against the waves while adapting our sails to new winds. The reverence of the Great Mother archetype, a harmonious blend of prophetic nurturing and dynamic change, offers a vision that extends beyond the confines of temporality reaching both into ancestral memory and towards future potentialities. It is a testament to the enduring African spirituality that inspires a collective journey towards integrative growth and understanding, highlighting the necessity of acknowledging duality as a pathway to unity. As we continue our voyage, we are reminded that life is indeed a tapestry, rich and varied, woven by hands that honor tradition and eyes that gaze confidently into innovation. The dance between elemental solidity and transformative fluidity in which we all partake reaffirms a truth that has guided generations. 
there exists within the maternal energy of the divine feminine a deep well of insight, endless in its provision of both comfort and inspiration. The teachings imbued in this dualism offers not just historical or cultural narratives, but practical applications for the present moment. By interlacing lessons derived from both the steadiness and adaptation exemplified by the Great Mother, our ever-flowing journey towards holistic comprehension mirrors the universal patterns etched in humanity's collective soul. Within this maternal embrace spanning Africa's spiritual landscape lies an enduring wellspring, a reservoir from which we may all draw courage and clarity as we traverse the boundless terrain of our shared human experience. Remarks Steering our course through the hard bits of duality, we have danced upon the plains where elemental stability intertwines with the winds of transformation. In the embrace of the dual matrices of life, we have discerned how the great mother archetype personifies the pillars of solidity and the forces of change both of which nurture, instruct and shape the consciousness that vibrates within us all. As we prepare to turn the page on this chapter, we edge closer to yet another enriching landscape of wisdom. In our upcoming episode, Chapter 3, The Great Mother's Sacred Vessel, we shall sail into deeper waters where femininity is memorialized not only as a giver of life but as a sacred vessel that carries it. We will explore the concept of the female form as a chalice of creativity, a cauldron of cosmos and an incubator of ideas and civilizations. So, ready your minds and spirits, for we shall bear witness to how maternity and womanhood are sculpted in African mythos and imbued with profound cosmic significance. We will investigate mythical chronicles, how deities, physical forms as celestial containers link the cosmos with the terrestrial how these bodies become landscapes in which birth, death, preservation and transformation coexist, and how womankind is envisioned as an emblem of connectedness, bridging material existence with the mystical. Therefore, hold tight to the threads that weave past to future, as our voyage through African mythology continues. We advance on our quest acknowledging the Great Mother's legacy, a continuum that shapes not only our beings but also our journey through the vast expanse of humanity's consciousness. Thanks for joining me. Join me again next time. This is the House of Horus, signing out.